Hi, my name is Lisa White, the owner at Unique Chevy Chic, and this is our first how-to video. Today, we're going to be reloving this five drawer chest of drawers. It's a solid wood, beautiful piece. It's got five drawers, um, slightly scratched to the top, watermark down the front. Um, so we're going to give it a new lease of life, starting now. Okay, so for this, we will need a few things. Um, some paint, obviously. I've uh, chosen paint today as Annie Sloan. We're going to be using the colour French linen. Um, we like to use Annie Sloan paint, it means that we can be a little bit lazy and not do any priming or sanding. You can put this paint straight onto a piece. Um, and to finish that off, we will be using wax today. This one's a clear wax, it gives us a nice soft finish. And it is also quite easy to use. That is also Annie Sloan. Um, a paintbrush. We quite like the Annie Sloan paintbrushes, they're quite wide. Um, they can get into lots of places, nice long handles, great bristles, um, so we're using that one. A little glass of water just to keep our brushes wet if we need to, um, a damp cloth, um, something to dry it off with and some sandpaper, we'll get to the sanding later. Okay, to, so to start with we're going to just wipe our piece down. So you just need a damp cloth, just to get any surface dust off, anything that's been sitting on it for a few years. If something like this has been in your garage or you bought it from a charity shop or car boot sale. Okay, so all right there. Um, Unless you're going to be painting over the draw pools, which some people do like to do and does give a nice effect, um, you will want to take them off now. We're going to keep these draw pools, but I would like to keep them as they are, so we're not going to paint over them. So to save us the hassle of having to sort of wipe those down afterwards, we'll take those off now. So we're just left with the body now. What we're going to do is we can get our paint out. It'll need a mix. I usually use spare chopsticks. You can watch it, use it again. And this paint is French linen and this is local paint. never paint the backs of my pieces, I don't see the point to be honest, they're going to be up against the wall unless it's a piece which is not going to be against the wall, in which case I will need to paint it. But if you want to paint it, it's your piece, you can do whatever you like with it. Okay, so like I said, no priming or sanding. I'm going to go straight on with the paint now. It's quite thick, it's easy to use. So we're going to go back to our drawers. We'll give those a wipe over again. So we've taken the uh, holes off. Put your pulls to one side. Um, you can always put new pulls on if you if you found any that you prefer. So if you go for a more modern style, you might want to find some more modern pulls. What I'm going to do with the drawers. I'm just going to paint the fronts. Like 
just front and the top lips. So the drawers are all out, cleaned. What we do now is we're going to just take the fronts and the top lips. So when you open the drawers, you still have that colour like you would with the, the body. Okay, so exactly as before, nice covering of paint to the front. Be confident in what you're doing, there's no particular right or wrong. Um, and if, if the uh, paint hasn't been waxed or varnished, then you can always go over it with damp cloth and wipe off if you've gone out of the line, so to speak. Okay. So we have the front of this one done. And the top lip there. So we're going to leave that to one side to dry. Okay, so drawers done, body done. I'm going to have a cup of tea and wait for it to dry. Okay, so we're back. Um, Nancy's joined me. Um, and now we're going to sand our piece, give a little bit of a distressed look, um, and then we'll go on to wax it. So we'll start with the body. You'll know it's ready to be um, sanded when it's dry to touch, so don't go doing anything to it where it's still in parts wet. So I'm using 120 sandpaper, you can get this in any homeware store, things to use, etc. It's quite a fine sandpaper. If you want to do something super distressed, you might want something a little bit wittier. Alright, so cut it in strips. I'm going to cut it in squares. So now you have a piece about the size of the three fingers, which means that you have a nice area on your hand to sand. Okay, so we'll start with the side. Gently sanding. And you'll see at the edges, the paint starts to come off. Give it a bit of definition, a bit of character. I just want to shut my sheets all about it. Really. The drawers are next, do exactly the same. Bit of definition on the edges. Done that, and now I'm quite sure that somebody would have got to dribble to paint them side, or not particularly where you want them. The best thing to get that off, to be honest, is wet wipes. 
um, just carefully rubbing until the paint comes off because it's chalk based, it's quite easy to get off. Unfortunately, we don't have any wet wipes, so I'm just going to use a damp cloth, use a damp sponge, anything like that would be fine. Okay, with the body really, you're looking at the bits in between the drawers. You can always mask these things off, to be honest. The time it takes just to wipe it down. I'm not convinced it's worth it, but it does depend on what paint you're using. Obviously, you might have to wipe off your furniture. Okay, so that's sanding done. I'll be ready for waxing. Okay, so here we are for waxing. Like I said earlier, we're using Anne Sloan's clear wax. Just want an old rag, preferably something that's not going to, like a J cloth or paper towel that's going to split while you're using it. Um, so, dab our wax in there. And then you want to get an all over coverage. And you'll see. So you get a darker colour when this is done. So you more like what was on the tip to start with. Some drawers because I want to put um, some detail on the front of those. So we'll come back in a minute, give it a shine, and start the drawers. Okay, so we're back and we've left it for a while. Try to touch again. What we're going to do is buff it just with a clean cloth, dry clean cloth, circular motion. Okay, I don't know how well that's coming across in the camera, but we've got a nice shot of it now. Right, okay, so we want to give this piece a little bit of something special. So I thought we'd have a shot at putting a lace effect on the front of the drawers. The drawers here go from smallest to largest, so I've lined them up in the order they would be if they were stacked in the chest. So smallest at the the top here and largest at the bottom. What I've done is I've bought some neck curtain which has a lace effect. What I'm going to do is lay it over the top of the drawers. Like this. 
maybe with some spray paint. Um, this one's just a spray paint you can pick up at your local DMC. It's just an off-white colour. So get the lace where you want it. Do your design. And then when you spray, you should be left with a pattern where the paint has gone through the lace. Okay, so we have spray painted the front and we've left it for about an hour to dry. And now we have a lace pattern. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to wax the front of this now and then we'll refit the handles, slot it back in and then our piece will be finished. Okay, so we're going to get our wax again, still using the Annie Sloan clear wax and we're going to wax the drawer fronts just to seal them, including the lip that we painted earlier. Okay, so they're done. It was dry for about 20 minutes and then we'll reattach the handle. Okay, so we're going to reattach the uh, drawer pulls now. Okay, so they're done. We'll just tighten those. Okay, so we'll reassemble our piece. And there we go. Bit of hard work. Okay, so this is our finished chest. I'm really pleased with it. And now it's ready for listing on our website, which is www.lisasuniqueshabbychic.co.uk. Be great if you could post some of the things that you've created. We'd love to see them. Thanks for watching.